Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, we will start designing a contact page for our website. So this is how it looks. This is the desktop version of our contact form. And here we can see on the left side, we have a contact form. And on the right over here, we can see we have the email ID and also the social media accounts. So there are different ways for the user to contact you. Now, one more thing I have in this contact form is that when you click on this, we can see that the placeholder goes up and we have this smooth animation. And when we click out of that, it goes back to the original position. It happens with all the other text field as well. But if you add any data over here, and uh, now if you go to the other text field, we can see that it stays there because there is data in that. Now if you remove that and if you click somewhere else, it goes back to the original place. So this is one of the animations that we are going to add in this contact form. And when we hover over these buttons, we can see we have a subtle animation. And even for the social media accounts, we have this hover effect. So that is basically it with the desktop version of our contact form. Let me show you the mobile version. So this is the mobile version. In the mobile version, we can see that we have the contact form at the top and uh, the other contact options at the bottom. And we have set the width to 100% so that it fills the whole width of the mobile screen. So this is what we're going to design in uh, a couple of videos. And uh, then we'll add this to our blogger website and I'll show you how to make this work. So let's get started. Alright, so I just created an empty project and I opened it with VS Code. So first of all, let's create all the necessary files. We'll create an HTML file, a CSS file and a JavaScript file. So let's create a new file and we'll name it index.html. And for the CSS file, we'll just name it style.css. And for the JavaScript, we'll name it main.js. Right, so let's start with the index.html file. In VS Code, you can just type exclamation and press tab and you'll get this basic HTML5 code. And let's link our CSS file over here. So we'll type link and press tab. And in the href, we'll type style.css. And we'll also add the JavaScript file over here inside the body. So just before the body ends, I'll just type script, colon src, and in here we'll type main.js. Right now, let's start with the markup of our contact page. We'll create a division with a class of contact container to contain both these sections. So let's create a division with a class of contact container. And in that we need to have two sections, one for the contact left and one for the right. So we'll create two divisions and we'll give them class names of contact left and contact right. Let's start with the contact left division. So first of all, we have this uh, heading. So for that, we'll create an H2. And uh, we'll also give it a class of contact left heading. And in that, we'll just type contact us here. Let me just open this uh, in our browser. So I have this extension called live server. So you can see this one right here. Just install that and you'll be able to just right click over here and click on open with live server. Now here we can see our web page is being displayed. Now after that we need to create a form to add all these text fields. So after the heading, let's create a form element. And for the action we'll just type hash for now. Now in the form we need to have three input fields. So let's go ahead and inside the form let's create those input fields. So we'll type input and uh, the type will be text. And in the first input field we have this placeholder called full name. So we can add the placeholder over here. So if I type placeholder and uh, we'll set it to full name. We can see in our website, the placeholder is being displayed over here. But uh, we also want to animate this placeholder. So when we click on this, we want to move the placeholder to the top. So for that, we have to create the placeholder separately. So let's remove the placeholder from here. And let's create a container division. So for each of the input fields, we'll create a container division and we'll give it a class of form element. And I'll just cut the ending tag and place it after this. 
So inside the form element division, we have the input field. And uh, for the placeholder, we will use the labels. So we'll type label and it will be for the name. So here we have to add an ID. So I'll type ID equals name. Or we'll just type contact name. And in the for attribute, you have to type the ID name. So I'll just copy this and paste it over here in the for. And here in the label, we'll type full name. Now this we will use as the placeholder and we will place it inside this text field using CSS. And let's also add a class to the input field. So we'll give it a class of form input so that we can style all of these in the CSS. So let's copy this form element and we will copy and paste it two more times. And for the second one, we have the contact email. So we'll type email over here in the ID and the class will be the same. And for we will change it to email and the label should be changed to email. All right, lastly, we have a text area because uh, here we can see we have multiple lines of text that uh, we can enter. So for that, we have to use a text area. So let's remove the input field from here and we'll type text area. And uh, for the ID, we will type contact message. And uh, in the for, we will type contact message. And in the label, we'll type your message. And we also need to give it a class of form input. So let's type class of form input. All right, that's it with the three input fields. Now the next thing is we need to add this submit button. So outside the form element division, we'll create an input with a type of submit. And uh, we'll give it a class of form btn. And uh, we'll give it a value of send. So we can see the submit button is being displayed over here. Now let's write the markup of the right side of our contact page. So this section right here, we have already created a division with the class of contact right. And in this, first of all, we'll create an H2 and we'll type or here. So we can contact here or here. And uh, then we have the email and uh, the social media icons. So we'll create paragraphs for that. We'll type a paragraph and uh, we want the email to be bold. So we'll type strong and in that we'll type email. We can see email is being displayed over here. And then we'll create another paragraph and we'll just type an email ID. All right, next we have this uh, heading right here. So we'll just copy this and paste it over here. And here we'll type get social. Now we'll also add one more line break over here. So we'll type BR and we can see we have an extra line break. And after that, we need to add the social media icons over here. So for that, we'll be using the font awesome icons. So first of all, let's go ahead and get the CDN. So just go to Google and search for font awesome 5 CDN and you'll get this link of cdnjs.com. Just copy the first link over here, which is all.min.css and click on this second one called copy link tag and then go to the HTML and here in the head section we can just paste the link all right now let's see what is the code to add the icons so here we'll just search for font awesome 5 icons and just go to the official website of font awesome and here we'll search for all the icons first of all we want Facebook so I'll just select the square one and I'll just copy this HTML from here. And let's go over here. And uh, after the paragraph, we'll create a division with a class of social icons. And in that, we'll create an anchor tag. And uh, here you can add the link of your social media page. And in the anchor tag, we'll just paste the link of the icon. So let's see how it looks. We can see the Facebook icon is being displayed over here. Let's search for Twitter and I'll just select this, copy this and uh, do the same thing. And in the same way, I'll do it for the Instagram as well. So I'll just copy and paste this and here instead of Twitter, we'll type Instagram. 
and here we can see all the icons are being displayed and all the markup of our contact page is ready all right so that is it for this video in the next video i'll show you how to style this and uh, we'll also add these animations for the placeholders and then we'll also see how to add this to your blogger website so that uh, we can create a working contact form for our website so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day